Hello and welcome to the Create a Drawing Game using Unity. So let's jump right in and check out the project that we're going to be making. Alright, so what we're going to be making is going to be a canvas and then you're also going to have multiple buttons here for different colors. You're going to have a red button that you're going to be able to draw with. You're going to have a, also a blue one as well and a green one. And then you're also going to be able to create an eraser to erase your current drawing. Alright, pretty simple app. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's go over some steps real quick. The first thing what we're going to want to do is create a blank white canvas. Then we're going to go ahead and create the script for the drawing. Then we're going to go ahead and add the buttons for the brush sprites. Then we're going to go ahead and duplicate those brush sprites and create different colors. So we're going to have multiple colors for the drawing. All right, awesome. Let's jump right into the project. Go ahead and open up your project. Should be just a 2D plain project, nothing edited or anything in it yet. Okay, should look exactly like mine. All right, so the first thing what we're gonna wanna do right over here is we're gonna click on main camera and we're gonna make the background completely white. Okay, so go ahead and drag it to the top left corner. Perfect. All right, next thing what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna create empty. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and name it draw. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and add a component now, which is gonna be that script Okay, so we're gonna put, we're gonna do it as drawing. Okay, go ahead and create that. Create and add. We're gonna let that load. Double click on it now to open it up in Visual Studio. All right, awesome, perfect. Okay, so the first thing what we got to do here is we got to make some variables. So right after the first comment over here, go ahead and hit enter a couple times, to create a little space for you. All right, now within here, we're going to add a couple of those variables. I'm going to go ahead and paste them in here and then explain what they are. Paste them here. All right, so we're going to have a public camera and that's basically going to tell us where the camera is. We're going to use that to determine where the brush is going to be put down onto. Then we're going to have a couple different game objects and each of these are going to be for the different brushes we're going to use. Then we're going to have a brush count, which is going to help us determine which brush we're going to use. Then we're going to need a line renderer, which is basically going to be the actual brush itself. So when you're clicking down on something, it's going to make that line. Okay, and we need that for that. Then we're going to need a vector two, which is going to help us get our position from the X and Y values. Okay, awesome. So go ahead and get rid of this start here. We don't need this. All right. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna add in here is gonna be two functions. Each one is gonna be helping create the position of where our brush point is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste my code right underneath the void update. Go ahead and hit enter. And then we're gonna be adding it from the middle spot right here. All right, so this one is going to be an add a point, all right, and it's basically going to be adding the point of contact where we're going to be using it. Okay, so current line render dot position count plus plus semicolon. Then we're going to do an int position index equals current line render dot position count minus one. Then we're going to go ahead and do a current line render dot set position, and then within it we're going to put position index comma point position all right just like that okay that's the first function all right so go ahead and make sure you got that in there then we're going to go ahead and do a another one of a point to mouse position all right and within it we're going to put a vector two mouse position equals the camera we have so we know which camera it's using screen to world point then an input dot mouse position so when we put our mouse down then it's going to know that point on the camera and then we're gonna have an if statement also, that if it's not there, then it's gonna add the position and the last position, okay? So go ahead and make sure this is all in there, okay? All right, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding the drawing function, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and put it underneath this one. Let's go ahead and give it three enters, and then starting here is where we're gonna start the code. So here we're gonna do a void drawing and within it though we're gonna have all these 
other counts, okay? And basically this is how it's going to determine which color brush to use. So when we use our mouse key and press down, it's going to go ahead and first find out which brush it's using by using that int value, okay? So if it's zero, it's gonna be red. If it's one, it'll be blue. If it's two, it'll be green. If it's three, it'll be white, which is gonna be that eraser color because our background is white, of course, okay? Awesome. And then else if input dot get key key code down point to mouse position and then else current line renderer equals null okay so make sure you have this all in there as well all right go ahead and pause the video and do that then the next thing that we can do is we are going to add the button pressing so basically the button functions for changing the color of the brush. All right, so underneath there, go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier. Make sure you have three inner spots and then place it somewhere in the middle. All right, so here we're gonna be creating a function for the red button, which is gonna make our brush count to zero. Then we're gonna have one for the blue one, which is gonna be one. Then we're gonna have one for the green, which is gonna be two. And then we're gonna have one for the white, which is gonna be three. So go ahead and make sure you got this in there. All right, awesome. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating the create the brush function, okay? So we have the position, we have which color we're using. All right, so to do that, let's go ahead and come down here. Let's paste this here. So all right, so we're gonna do another function which is gonna be creating the brush, all right? So go ahead and do a game object brush instance equals initiate red brush. So that's our red brush we're using current line renderer equals brush instance dot get component and then within it we're going to put the line renderer and then down here you can put this comment if you want you don't have to it's up to you it just kind of helps you remember what you're doing vector 2 mouse position equals the camera screen to point input dot mouse position and then we're going to do a current line render dot set position and then you're going to do a position 0 and then a position 1 for the one below it okay so go ahead and put that in there awesome all right, so now for all the other colors, we need to basically do the same thing. So what you can do is simply copy the whole thing. Go ahead and just paste it underneath. And then all we're gonna be changing is right here. So for instance, we could do the blue one. We can do blue. And then the only other thing we gotta change is just the brush and the initiate section, okay? And we're going to do blue. Perfect. Awesome. So you can do the rest of the colors, or you can even add more colors if you want. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and put my last two ones in. There we go. All right. So you should have a red one that looks like this. Then you should have a blue one that looks like this. A green one that looks like this and then a white one that looks like this. So the only things that are changing between all these four is just the function name and then what's in the initiate section right here. Okay, awesome. All right, and so the last thing we gotta do is you gotta go back up here to the void update right over here and we have to put the drawing function in there, okay? So how to do that is we're simply just going to call it, okay? So drawing and within parentheses, and then semicolon. All right, so that's it for the script. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into the Unity now. All right. Oh, don't forget to save it. Control S. Make sure there's no yellow, it's all green, no red, looking good. All right, so we're gonna come back over here now. And we're just gonna have to add a few other things. All right, so the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make the drawing line render. Okay, so go over here, right click. What we're gonna want is we're gonna want another empty. We're gonna call this brush red. Oh, make sure you're on the name. Brush red. There we go. All right, and within it now, we're gonna add a component, okay? And we're gonna add a line renderer. Okay, awesome. All right, and you can adjust this as you want. I would say if you want it to make it look like mine, all you gotta do is come over here and do a point 20. 
Okay, and then down in the positions, right over here near the X, you can do a 1.67, okay? This is just gonna make that line a little smaller and look a little better, okay? Awesome, so then for the color as well, I'm gonna go ahead and make mine red. So to make it red, all you gotta do is, well one, you can either customize it or add a new one. I'm gonna click on this color here, but what you have to also is you have to drag this color over here and make the whole thing just strictly red, okay? Awesome. You can play around with this if you want, but if you want single colors like this, then that's how you gotta do it. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate this now. Let's do the blue one. All right, we keep everything the same. We just gotta change that color. I have a blue already. And I just gotta make sure that that's all the way over there. All right, looks good. Let's duplicate it again. Let's do a green. Enter. All right. Let's do a, so let's spin the color wheel to green and then go ahead and slide this over to make it all the way green. Perfect. All right, duplicate it. Now let's do the white. Awesome, there we go. And then now just the color we gotta change. All right, perfect. So we have the white one there, green one, blue one, and the red one. Awesome. So now we got to make these all into prefabs. So to do that, all you have to do is just drag and drop them right here into your folders. Oh, and the one thing we want to change, though, for the white brush is we want to make it a little bit bigger because it's going to be more of an eraser, not so much a, a drawing, okay? So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and change this X value. Oh, no, no. We want to change this over here to 1. Okay. All right. And then the size, keep that at 2. And this, though, we want to change it to 0.4. Okay, perfect. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead, drag and drop this into here. Perfect. Go ahead and delete all these in here. Because we already have them saved right here. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to add canvas. All right. UI. Add a canvas. And then within that canvas, we want to add some buttons. All right. Go ahead and button. And we're going to call this button R. And if you want to go... You can either back the screen up like this to view the button. And we just want to put it. I'm going to go ahead and use the move tool right here. Put the red button right there. And I'm going to take away the text and just keep the color of it. Let's go ahead and go to color, move it to red because this is going to be the red button. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the script to it. So go ahead and drag and drop which item has the script, and that's the draw right there. Drop it right there. Go to the function now, go to drawing. Find the red button, there it is. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Slide it over. This is gonna be for the blue. Let's change that to the color blue. Perfect. And then we can change the name and do a B. Awesome. Let's go ahead, change now where the function is, right over here to onclick. Let's go find blue now. There it is. Perfect. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do the one for green now. Awesome. All right. Let's move it over. Change the color to green. There we go. Let's go ahead. Find the function for green. There it is. Let's do it again. Now for the eraser. I'm going to make this like a gray and I'm going to change it to W. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the function for that. There it is. 
All right, and now go back to the draw button right here. And now we have to drag and drop everything into it, okay? So go ahead and find your main camera. Put that there. I'm gonna find the red brush, which is right here. Find the blue one now, the green one, and then also the white one. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Go ahead and hit the play button. All right, click the red button. Click the blue button, the green. Oh, I know what we did wrong. Go ahead and hit play button. We have to change the material, okay? So go ahead and go to one of your brushes. I'm gonna start off with the red one. Go ahead and go to this right here, materials, and where it says element zero, go ahead and find the default white box right here. All right. There we go, and we gotta do that for each one, okay? So go ahead on each one, scroll on down to materials. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. And we might have to refresh it by putting them back into the spot. So we're gonna go ahead, drop the red one in there because we updated them, the white one, green one, and then the blue one. Awesome, all right, let's try that again. This should work now though. Go ahead and hit the red button. There we go, we got red drawing right there. We got the blue one as well. And then we also got the green one. Let's try the eraser out. There you go, and you can erase perfectly. Awesome, all right, so that's it for this video. I hope you continue this project and see what you can do with it. See you next time.